didn't see you there. Do you want to learn the physics behind the piano? Who wouldn't want to know that? That's my boy. The piano is a percussion instrument since it involves hammers striking the strings. The piano today is much different than it was when it was first created. The background of the piano came from an ancient Greek instrument called the hydraulis. This instrument created sound by air pushing through the pipes. The air pipes were triggered by the pressure of the seven pedals below the keyboard. The next version of the piano was created in the medieval times, called the clavichord. It developed sound by pushing a string up and down using the key on the keyboard. The clavichord was made with small brass strings and copper strings and produced a soft sound. Next came the harpsichord in the 1600s. The only difference between the clavichord and the harpsichord is that the harpsichord is much louder, but it had no control over the sound due to the thicker brass strings. Next was the forte piano, developed around 1700. It involved a hammer type object that would strike iron strings for a loud sound. Today, the modern piano is capable of making both loud and soft sounds and has three pedals. The pedal on the right is for holding the notes for a long period of time. The middle pedal sustains notes so certain notes can ring and others can fade. And the left pedal is for muting the notes when played. The modern piano today comes in various shapes and sizes. This piano is about five feet long. There are also upright pianos with the strings being hit in a vertical direction which saves floor space. There are 88 keys on the piano, and an average of 230 steel-wired strings attached to these keys. These keys are arranged with an increasing pitch from the left side of the piano to the right side of the piano. The piano produces sound by the vibrating strings, which is created by pressing a key, like so. Allowing the hammer to hit the string, if the pedals were involved, for example, the far right pedal, after you strike the key and release it, the hammer releases as well, but the pedal sustains the note for a longer period of time because the damper will not touch the strings, allowing the strings to resonate freely without being muted. The sound from the vibrating strings would be too quiet to be heard if there wasn't a soundboard. This large flat piece of wood is called the soundboard. The soundboard vibrates and excites the air around it, creating a much louder sound when the vibrations of the strings are transferred to the soundboard from the bridge. The sound is also amplified by striking the piano keys with greater force. This increases the amplitude of the waves, which increases the volume of the sound. This piece projects a louder sound out of the piano depending on what angle it is on. The four factors that determine the pitch of the vibrating strings are the length, the tension, the diameter of the string, and the material of the string. The shorter the string, the higher the pitch. The shortest string on the piano is about five centimeters long and is located in the treble section. The longest string is about 230 centimeters and is located in the bass section, creating a lower pitch. For the tension, the tighter the string, the higher the pitch. The thinner the string, the higher the pitch. The thicker the string, the lower the pitch. A lot of these strings are thickened to produce a lower pitch, instead of increasing the length of the strings. If this was the case, pianos would be much larger than their original sizes today. The less dense the material is, the faster the vibration of the string is. Therefore, there is a higher pitch due to the higher frequency. The high quality of wood in which a piano is made out of produces the unique sound. The rigid body of the piano and the thickness of the soundboard design and the accurate placement of the bridge are all aspects of the piano that makes the sound so unique. Now you understand the history behind the piano and how it is much different today and comes in different shapes and sizes and um, creates loud and soft sounds. Now you know that sound is produced by the hammer striking the string which causes it to vibrate. You now know the three things that amplify the sound. The soundboard, this flat piece right here, and the greater force playing the keys. The four factors that determine the pitch of the vibrating strings are the length, the tension, the diameter of the string, and the material of the string. You also now know that the unique sound from the piano comes from the high quality of wood and the thickness of the soundboard design and the accurate placement of the bridge.